Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Restoration Couple. We are back on the van, and today we're going to try and get some power sorted. And well, stick around, and we'll see if we can uh, work out what on earth to do with all these. Now it's the time, it's the time to get this power system sorted. Um, now we've gone this route, we've gone for a pre-made power system and it's a charger and it's kind of a all-in-one solution, or almost all-in-one. Um, at the time, I hadn't really done masses of research, so it just seemed a safe option for me. Um, get this, know that we've got 240 on one side, 12 volt on the other, everything's labelled, all of the looms are pre-made, they've got all the colour coding for every appliance, fan, heater, fan, all that sort of stuff. And it, and it made sense to me at the time. Since then I've probably done enough research that I could have got, got away with doing a little kind of uh, fuse box myself and labelled it up and all that sort of stuff. But there's something about having it tidy and neat like this which appealed to me. Um, but you know, th this doesn't include, although there is some sort of charger, split charge type system here, it's not like a proper split charge um, relay. So th there are perhaps other alternatives better suited to some people. I'm hoping that with this and a solar charge controller, that you know, we're going to be absolutely fine uh, as far as not having to use electric hookup. But we have got that option, we've put, already put that in got two connectors that go into the back of the system and then they go off and they split and one of them it was all rather daunting at, to start with but it's okay now I'll kind of get my get my head around it this one here all these pretty colors they are all the appliances the lights the you know whatever you've got going on there sockets all that sort of stuff the fan so those ones are going to be rooted along in a little bit of trunking at the back here and distribute off. Now I don't think I need a two meter length of all of these so I'll probably end up cutting back these uh, when needed and there'll be some in here that I don't need. I don't need a heater fan or certainly not now so um, they can just be kind of bundled up and left redundant. And then the other part of the loom goes off to the leisure battery, the vehicle battery, the uh, there's a couple of earthing points there uh, for the negatives and there's a constant if you had a three-way fridge there's there's those wires we are going to run a direct feed to our fridge anyway so I'm going to split this loom up and I'm going to run our supply uh, section which is the ones to the batteries along the locker here and then we'll run them down to our battery bay so I just picked up my order of a handful of bits and bolts mainly screws hardware electrical uh, electrical conduit things like that uh, but one of them was this oak wall switch which is going to be our master for the main lights and I was planning on building a, and carving an oak uh, or a wooden switch but um, I think these were about £10 and it yeah, it was easier. I gave up, I, I chickened out. Anyway, that's going to go in here and, uh, and I just need to wire that in now. So we've got our incoming um, kind of positive and then on the outgoing side we've got our three uh, positives that go off to the lights and then they are individually switched as well. I've just spent about an hour trying to get a bolt to the bodywork for all of our negatives to go to. Uh, and all I've done is just gone right behind a pillar, sanded off all the, any paint, put a bolt through, shakeproof washers and a nut. And then now all of our negatives are going to go into this so they're all kept together. We're not, uh, we're not kind of grounding stuff to the bodywork just where appliances are we're actually bringing everything back to one point so it, it uses a bit more wire but 
At least if anything goes wrong, we know where it is. I wanted to build a false back to here. That will tidy up all the wiring behind, but also give something much stronger to hang on to. So what I've done is cut a, uh, because this is only six mil ply in the base. So I'm just gonna put a strengthening piece in there, which I've cut. Cut a piece of 12 mil, which will become our wall. Now I should have painted this white, but I've run out of time. That's gonna go in there, just need to cut around here. Um, and then it'll be fixed with some blocks. So the idea is I can f there'll be a little bit of slack on the cables behind. I can fix the unit to here, uh, get to any cables, and then we can just kind of slide it in, put our fixings in. I'm hoping that'll work. And then we'll blank off the, between the cupboards anyway. Then a cutout for the negative bus bar bit uh, and a cutout for the solar when we get around to doing that. And then the negatives will have to just come through here and loop up. There's plenty of space there. So now I'm gonna try and get this sergeant system in and then I can at least get some 12 volt running. I want to make sure I leave as much as I can clearance at the top there for ventilation. Most of it's at the front, but there is a tiny vent at the top there. Enough space there for the solar charge controller. And that's square. Right, let's get this thing on the wall. Seven o'clock. Ah! I've got to run a youth group in about. 10 minutes time, 20 minutes time. We can get this in, we can get it done. Okay, that, they're perfect, those screws. Of all the things you don't really want to rush, it's your electrics. I'm getting somewhere now. I've managed to put the negatives, I've just, all I've done is the lights and fan, just to test it really. And, uh, and we'll wire it into the batteries now. So we need to get those batteries in parallel. Right, here we go, this is where we are. Both batteries, 100, 100 amp hour each. This cable is putting them into parallel, negative neg negative. This negative is going to the chassis. This is doing the same, but the other end, positive, positive. And then this is our 20 amp fuse, inline fuse feeding the sergeant. There'll be another one like this going directly to the compressor fridge. This goes off into the loom here. Up here is where the negatives all go into. This is the negative from uh, the, the kind of main loom, or one of the negatives. Ethernet cable's coming into here, so now we should be able to turn that on. And we're on the leisure battery. And then, now we need to see if the lights work. So I haven't tested them since I put in this switch. Nothing is happening. I got nothing. We've got power. And our fan is now working. So because the lights aren't working, I can only assume that we need to have a look at the back of this again. Which is a shame because I wanted to work in here late tonight. Um, and I now need to go out for the, about two hours, but hey. Never mind. Hopefully, a little bit more footage later tonight. If anything, it'll just be finishing painting and Osmo and all that sort of stuff. But the worktop looks good. So there was no big issue. I simply wasn't, I was using the pink rather than the, uh, the purple rather than the pink and white or something like that. I just had the wrong cable. So uh, all of these work fine off the oak switch on the wall and they work independently from their own toggle switch. So I thought, come out now, half 10, crack on. We've also got our solar charge controller arrived, that beauty off Amazon. So we've got a 200 watt panel, and this is a 20 amp MPPT 
uh, charger, the Ipiva, Ipiva, or um, this one's got Photonic Universe brand on it. That's who we ordered it from. But I'm pretty sure they're all the same. Major, major fail. As I was trying to fit that sergeant system, and I was pulling up the electric hookup, I pulled it out of the socket and I hadn't connected the plug yet. I'll show you what I've had to do. So, it usually comes through this top one through a grommet, and I left it just loose in here, like 100 mil of it, and I've just pulled it up, and I, fortunately I can see the wire, so I've just drilled another hole below. I'm hoping that I can push it up, grab it with some pliers, pull it all through. We've got keyhole surgery going on here. Oh, see you. Look at that, you beauty. All right, keep it safe. Can't lose, can't lose any screws, all right? Isn't that how everyone does 240 electrics? With a little, yeah. little Muppet helping you? Yeah. Right, it's in, it's hinged, it looks right, uh, everything's in the right right hole. Just gonna do the inside bit now. It should be easier because the sergeant system has a click and plug and play type thing going on. Now I've just picked up um, a, a lead but also an adapter that I can plug it into the house to test everything out. So I'm gonna get on and do that now. Let me squeeze first. Come on. Okay, it's the one that goes on here. Okay, so we've plugged it into the normal 13 amp socket in the house. So that's just the main master switched on. And I've flicked up the main RCD and then the MCV which has got the charger on which is now working so that means that our leisure batteries will continue charging overnight before we go away tomorrow and that will charge the vehicle battery as well but I'm not connected to the vehicle battery yet um, this all oh, that's already gone up a little bit and I've just put a really temporary double socket here on a plastic back box so that's kind of coming off the socket feed and oh hang on hopefully we have power it is working couldn't find a light bulb to plug into excellent so that's it for that one sorry again it's a little bit fragmented and things may not be quite in sync piecing together the next edit now which is going to be finishing off the kitchen building the face frame and installing the worktop and even getting some running water by the end of the day. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, but remember if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.